My first memory of being inspired was actually I was about uh, about five years old, I think, and um, my grandmother was sewing this uh, pillow, and I liked the fabric along with the design that was on the fabric. I tried to reduplicate it on a paper bag, drawing it and stuff like that. And um, my uh, grandmother told me that you know you, you got you got something there, you know. And then uh, a couple of days after that, I seen this this little um, drawing that my mother did on a um, on a matchbook, and I tried to inspire my mother to do art because I thought that she really had it. And from there, from trying to inspire her, it inspired me to push further. Right. Yeah, the first one I can remember, uh, I I did this butterfly out of yarn for my mother. And that was the first time when my mom said, you know, you, you're going to be an artist when you grow up, you know, because she really liked it and she told everybody about it. And everyone else gave me the same uh, energy that she gave me, you know, because I thought it was just mom and showing love for me. But people that I didn't know seen it and they really liked it and they thought that uh, I would be an artist when I grow up. Uh, she enrolled me into an art program. Uh, which was actually a Head Start program that allowed youth from the ages between, you know, uh, uh, five and ten to come in and do art. And um, that uh, was the point where I knew that uh, I could really take it serious because uh, the people who were doing the program were artists themselves. They looked like they were getting paid pretty good. And, mm -hmm. and uh, actually, uh, later on in my life, uh, the guy who uh, was actually the executive director of the program was uh, Joe Sam. And I had already known him, and uh, I didn't realize he was that person, though. Is he the person that's registering you? Yeah, he, he's the person uh, registering there. So it, was, it was being praised and then uh, going off that praise to inspire someone else, and then I realized I had a... Uh, a sort of an obligation. I felt like it was, you know, it was a, that first marriage that I had as a child uh, with uh, being able to um, do something and feel important. I direct a program called Safe Haven in Bayview Hunters Point, which is where I was born and raised. And um, my um, my family uh, is well known out in Bayview Hunters Point. Um, my, my grandmother was a huge activist as well as a barber in, uh, in Hunters Point and so uh, everyone's seen her as like a mother figure. And so I took that and I put parlayed that to my experience and uh, carried it on. It's an after school program that uh, works with high risk youth and uh, kind of tries to rid them of truancy and uh, them, you know, kind of getting into risky uh, behavior. Have you used praise in, I mean, kind of like consciously thought of praise in terms of inspiring some of the youth? I know that um, I did, uh, there was an article uh, in uh, the Bayview uh, newspaper that, uh, that, that was done on me, and I was kind of just giving, they were asking me what, what I would do you know, what would I say to those out there? And later on, I, uh, there was an artist uh, by the, uh, he calls himself the artist. Uh, his name is Andre. And uh, he uh, was, I later met him after he got out of the penitentiary. And he told me that I got him started uh, drawing. But I had actually seen his work before and I wanted to figure out who he was because I wanted to buy one of his pieces. I really liked his work and stuff. And then he walked up to me when I was doing a show in um, uh, in Oakland at the um, it's at a, at a cafe in Oakland, and uh, they uh, he came in and said, "This is your work. I remember uh, this piece. You know, I kept this piece in my cell, and and uh, I'm an artist because 
today because of that. I read the article and I kept the article with me and everything. And so me and him are good friends now. You know, I kind of use my job that I have now to get in contact with those people who may not know have the purpose of their lives and try to help them uh, dig into their childhood. And their childhood is usually uh, a message of what their actual purpose is, you know. So I tell them, that, you know, often it's a lot of times it's something creative. And so I try to inspire them to continue it and not just let it die out. It's communication, you know, uh, communicating with them, uh, sharing my childhood stories with them. Uh, and especially if they blend together, you know, we really strike a heavy conversation, uh, in, which builds inspiration for them to kind of talk more about it and bring up more memories. And through those memories, then I can kind of uh, gauge and uh, uh, figure out where everything fits and uh, kind of give them suggestions from there.